welcome back to my channel i know i look weird i have concealer all over my eyelids because of when i concealed my bottom brow and i had to put it on because ya casi no tengo i ran out of that concealer i'm trying to find it to show you guys what the f oh it's right here this is a concealer that i used to oh my god my nose crusty right there but this is a concealer that I used to carve my bottom brow because recently I've been liking my bottom brow to have like a more bright color, like a brighter concealer, like a wider concealer. And then my top brow, I conceal it with the NARS. Just had to let you guys know that. So yeah, I did do my eyebrows off camera, obviously. That's just, um, they take too long. But if you guys do want to see a video of my brow tutorial, please let me know. But let's just get started because I work at 4 and it's already like 2 so I gotta step this up. But So to prime my face I'm gonna be using the Smashbox primer and I love this primer. Oh my goodness. I used to use a Tarte Smoothness. I forgot which one it was but I used to talk about it all the time. And that one I did like it but I'm not oily anymore. I'm like pretty dry now so this like literally um keeps me hydrated. And I just apply like this. And excuse my crusty nail, it's always this one that ends up being crusty because at work, when I do the box, like, I close boxes. So every time I'm, like, using my finger, it freaking, it's just, well, with time, it ruins it. So. Oh my god, this is, like, wet. I always bring it down. <laughs> I always bring it down to my neck because I don't want my foundation to look a little rough down there. So, wait, I need a mirror. I wish I had like a mirror right here so you guys could see everything. Well, you guys could see everything I do, but I just wish I had a mirror. I'm honestly so happy to be back on YouTube. Like, honestly, I don't know what the fuck was going on. <sighs> but I'm back and better. Oh my god, I have a bigote. Hold on. Okay, so when I have bigote, I used to I used to shave my mustache, but my mom was like, no, no, it's this te vas a ni más grueso, eh? You know, moms. So she got this thing right here. It looks like this, and it's for your bigote. I have some bigote, man. Since I'm like recording, I'm like so nervous. I'm like, do I do my foundation next? That's what I do next, right? Okay, so for foundation, I've been lately struggling with my foundations. Like, oh my, I can't been, I haven't been able to find my right color. Sometimes I look too tan. Sometimes I look like too white. But then when I ask Liz if it looks too dark, she's like, no, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, oh my god, this bitch. But I'm just, I, I'm gonna use the Wooden Wild one today. But I think I'm gonna mix it with um, the Super, this Super Stay Foundation. My color is 118, this one, but I have, I ran out of it and I just, I just haven't gone to the store to grab one. And then I also have this one that's 128, but this one's too dark. So, yeah. I'm gonna go in with the super stay foundation in 112 and the wet and wild wet and wild foundation in um golden golden beige so i honestly like this applicator it's not that bad like see like i feel like this is too tan like it's not like i, I just can't find my right shade i did try the a sample for the nars um the dewy one and I love that one, but I'm on a budget right now, so... And that foundation is, like, 49 bucks. So I was like, God, no. That's gonna have to wait. And then if I were to just put the 112, this one, it's too white. Like... This is actually my mom's foundation, but she doesn't even use it. 
so I think blending my foundation is probably my favorite um, thing to do on, for my makeup like I just love blending out my foundation it's like so soothing to me I got a new beauty blender too I think you got you probably you guys probably don't remember the beauty blender it was a blue one I had that one for a minute And when I blend, I usually take so long. It's just, I don't know why, but. You guys see, I'm so nervous. I don't even know what I'm saying. And I have to work. Oh my God. Honestly, you guys, I've been, I want to find a new job. I want to apply at Bath and Body Works. I want to apply at Sephora, but once when I went to like ask if they're hiring, they're like, and I went without makeup, and they're like, I was like, are you guys hiring? And then they're like, um, yeah, but you have to be, you have to be seven, I think 17 or 18, and you have to be experienced. I don't know, like, you know, like, basically trying to tell me, like, like, if I don't know anything about makeup, like, like, why do you, why are you judging me? Because I don't, I don't have makeup. Like, what the fuck? And you gotta blend it to your neck because yeah blending my forehead is something I hate though like gosh when it comes to my forehead so I hate that cuz I feel like cuz the brow and all that shit it's like you gotta be extra careful I need to learn not to put the mirror in the way. Oh, I got my brow. Oh my god. That's why I hate doing my freaking forehead. I'm just gonna go over it. Because. I made it a big ass deal, like if I freaking got my whole eyebrow, huh? All dramatic. Okay, so now that we finished our foundation, I'm gonna go in with concealer. You know, the drill. Oh, I should be prepared. Oh my. I wish I had a table in front of me laid out, you know, like all the other YouTubers. So it could be easy, but. Okay, so for found, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. That was my speaker. What the hell? Okay, so I'm going to use this concealer. I For concealer, I never put that much. Like, I don't know why. I feel like... Okay. And then after I go in with this concealer, I feel like this is like too dark too i go in with the one i used to that i used to conceal my brows and this concealer you guys this was the first concealer that i ever started with because when i barely started doing makeup i didn't know anything but this is one of my um beautiful friends her name is eileen she graduated a while ago and she's the one that introduced me to this um concealer and till this day eileen i still use it because i know you watch my videos I still use it to this day. Um, I let that sit a little bit. You guys see what the difference of concealer can make? Like, This eye looks like awake and this one looks like, you know, you guys know what I mean? Okay, I blended all that concealer. Now I'm gonna set it and I finally, finally after like, I don't know, 
I finally got the Laura Mercier powder and it's the best like I do not regret getting it at all because in the beginning I wouldn't get it because I thought that it was just like I thought it would work like the fit me and I was like nah nah you know but I never tried it because the fit me would like look good on me Liz got this one first and then I tried it and I was like like it made my skin look way better than the fit me one so yeah I really do recommend you guys get the Laura Mercier powder I wanted to get the Fenty one but I didn't I don't know I was too scared so I just got the Laura Mercier one but make sure before you set you blend out the concealer like you want to make sure I was I want I also want to get the Laura Mercier but the dewy one because I've been loving like the dewiness like the wet like not not so matte no more You guys are probably like, damn. Okay, it's because I just like to make sure it's blended. I feel like I like this more because this translucent powder is not as... I feel like the Fit Me is thin formula, but like this one, I feel like it's thinner. It's not as thick. But I really do pack it like in my nose and right here and right here because I'm probably going to be laughing a lot at work because that's just always what happens. I set my face with this powder too. I put it on my neck and everything, but I don't put so much like on the on the cheeks like you know how i pack my under eyes i don't do that and i set and i set whatever is left on like the on the beauty blender like around my eyebrows i don't want to put too much powder i don't go in again but that time that i just put powder on my face my eyes already creased i feel like this video is gonna be really long and i don't really like I don't, really, I don't really like my videos to be that long because I feel like nobody want, likes watching them. But it's just, I've been gone for a minute and it's like, I feel like, I don't know, I'm just talking, to, I'm just bullshitting, I don't know, I don't know. But, I don't really, I also don't let that powder sit for too long because, again, I'm drying, I don't want it to be too damn set. If that made any damn sense. Shit. And this is a wet and wild brush. Like that I just used to. To dust off all the powder. Okay, we're now gonna go moving on to eyes. I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette. Um, again, you guys. You guys need this palette. Like... This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. Like, I just love it that much. It's my go-to. But for this look, you guys, you only need one eyeshadow. Well, two because I like to add glitter. Like, not glitter, glitter, but like, sh like, like shimmer. But to, for today's color, I am gonna be using this shade right. Oh, I hate that. I hate this. Like, why can't it just be under the shadow? So I'm gonna go in with the shade. Um, uh, hold on. Let me like try to fix this. I'm gonna go in with the shade Mary. I love the shade Mary. Mary's like my best friend. So I'm gonna go in with like this real technique technique brush, and I'm just gonna go like this. And I know for sure that's probably gonna be the first shadow I hit pan because. So I get the brush and I literally just start, I pack it on my lid first. Like I just pack it on my lid. And then right now we're gonna blend it. I like to pack it on my lid first. So like when I'm blending it, um, I kind of like starts, the color starts to diffuse and like 
it's not as like you guys will you guys will see what I mean right now but I'm packing this color now I'm gonna get like a fluffier brush like this one right here and I'm gonna dip it but a little bit like don't go all like not all harsh just like a little tap and we're gonna start blending this like just start blending it and I blend it upwards Okay, so I finished blending it like I hate that the lighting looks like that watch You guys see my my eye like it's just like simple, but it's just I love this color I feel like it's like the perfect Not nude, but like when you don't want to just use brown This has like that pink like like I don't know, but I love this color So much I know it's gonna be the first one I hit pan. I think I said that already, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the same to the other eye. Like that's all you do. I. I've been wanting to start like doing lives on my Instagram but tell me why I just get super shy like I'm like oh my god like because I know people are actually watching me in the moment like they're actually watching me and that's kind of scary because I don't know like I want to but like it's okay I know I will do it I'm gonna grow the balls to do it Oh my god, my lips look so crusty because of the foundation. But I'm going to get like this brush now and I'm going to use the same color and I'm just going to um, apply that on my bottom lash. Okay, so I finished my eyeshadow and you don't have to do this, but I like to do it because it just gives me like, it makes me feel like cute. You guys know what I mean. But I'm going to go in with like this. See? I hate having this paper because then you have to be looking back at it like that's the only thing I don't like about this palette but I'm still gonna use it okay so the word literally it's literally literally the one next to the one we just used this one but I'm gonna go in with this one right here and I'm just gonna and I'm gonna use my pinky and I'm gonna go in with that shade and I'm just going to apply it all on my lid right here I don't know why I've just been loving to add like some type of shimmer right here. Just kidding, I think I do know. Because I, Jenny does that all the time. You guys can't see it, but it looks really pretty. So I finished my eyes. You guys can't really see like the shimmer, but. If you do it, trust me, it looks really pretty. You don't just have to add that color, you can add any color you want. Oh my god, my lips look so ugly. But now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. And for my lashes, I'm just gonna um, apply mascara. I'm not even gonna do anything. But I do that last, so I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. And I did hit pan in the Physicians Formula, the Butter Bronzer. It's like my favorite one clearly and i'm using like this wooden wild brush i love this one for bronzer like it's perfect Yikes. and i love the weather today it's so like no it's cloudy but it's not raining and it's like perfect it's not so cold because if you guys live in Tucson, you guys know how cold it's been. Like, what the heck? Okay, 
now we're just gonna get our translucent powder real quick and so we could just sh make this sharp i'm just gonna grab my beauty blender and i don't even go like all crazy i just like like some slight And I'm gonna go in with blush and lately I've been feeling like the bright pink blushes like like uh, which, like Kylie you know the uh, what is it I forgot I don't know let me shut up because I don't even remember the name of it but I I love Kylie Kylie's blushes like they look so pretty but I haven't I haven't even bought any because them shits fucking go out of stock real quick but I'm oh shoot I'm gonna be using this blush right here it's the Tarte blush in party let me apply some more como que no se ve we are almost done. Um, I know this video is going to be really long, but I hope you guys are okay with that. Because... Oh, for highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, the Embers, Embersy. I don't even know how you say Embersy. I don't know. I want to... Oh, can you guys see me right there? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using this one, and I love it. It's bomb. Liz gave it to me. She was being nice that day. I don't know why. Well, oh for my nose you guys i never go in with brush first i always um grab like go with my finger and i go like a little circle like this because i feel like it just pops out more for me right now i'm gonna blend that just don't think i'm gonna leave it i was obsessed with the laura geller one but I have not used that one. I am going to set my face with the Mario Badescu one. Um, I did use the Morphe one, but I ran out of this. And I hate that you can, when you buy them, you can't even feel like if there's anything in there. Like it always feels like it's empty. Yeah, look how it comes out now. Oh, you guys can't see it. It comes out like, like, Yeah, it doesn't have any. I want to get a new one, but every time I go to Ulta, they never have it in stock. So I'm just going to use a Mario Badescu one, and I'm running out of this one too. I didn't even realize. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Um, I couldn't find these so I was looking for these lipsticks that I want to show you guys that I've been obsessed with but I found this Rice Krispie in my backpack that I didn't even know I had mm. the bomb but I'm gonna go in with Hold on. I'm gonna go in with the lip liner more field. I'm gonna go in with this lip liner and Speefy. And these lipsticks are my favorite. This is a NYX soft matte lip cream. These two right here. One is in London, and the other one's in Scott Home, Stockholm these two right here and they're like the perfect nudes like you need these look at them yes you guys need these but today i'm gonna be going in with hmm, hmm where did i put my mirror 
I have the habit of before I put anything on, on I put chapstick again, chapstick again. But I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. And I am gonna put mascara, you guys. I'm gonna do that when I'm done with my lips. I'm gonna do that off camera. So I decided that I'm gonna go in with the color Stockholm, this one right here. It's a really, like, not too bright pink, but it's like a, cause you know, bright pinks, I don't know, bright pinks don't look that good on me, actually, so. And I can't really fuck with liquid lipsticks for some reason, like, I like how this is cream. Cause I feel like liquid lipsticks just dry on my lips, like I have not find the perfect liquid lipstick that I like, like, or that I feel comfortable in, in other words. And these smell so bomb. They smell like... I don't know, but like cookies, no, not cookies, like I don't know, but it sounds like something I smelled before. Okay, so this is what my lips, this is how the lips look. I wish I had not bigger lips, but I feel like more like more definition on the top. I will later in the future. But I'm gonna do my mascara and off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the completed look. I always have this hair do. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just. But me veo como. Let me see. I have these earrings right here. Maybe porque. So I could look a little bit more cuter for you guys. Do I look like a chola? I feel like I look like a chola. But you know, I'm just doing this for the video. Okay. Okay, so this is the completed look. I love this look, you guys. I literally do it all the time because it's that cute. But like give it a look like it's simple but it's just like cute so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's gonna be pretty long i know watch um if you guys would like to see anything else let me know in the comments below and um, yeah and i will see you guys wait do i have anything else to say let me let me think because i'm just really i'm kind of nervous right now so hold on yeah, I don't really have any... Um, I really don't have nothing else to say. Mm, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.